Let's do some Python on hardware. This is news and more from our popular newsletter, Python on hardware. Okay, let's check it. Yeah. This uh, is last week's newsletter. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Refresh. Ooh. Here we go. Uh, this week. I, know, so I was like, wait a minute. I just looked at this. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this week, code to circuitpython.org, browser based yes. circuitpython editor and serial terminal is now live. Please so go check it out. Please you want to be able to edit circuitpython code, upload, download your files. No doubt. Circuitpython board. Yep. All in the browser. Through a serial terminal. Chromebook. Yes. Check it out. Your browser on your laptop, on your desktop. Yeah. So it allows you to read and write files on the USB drive, which is, or is how it works. through the terminal if you're using the ESP32. So the big deal is that, like, historically, you edit a text file on the mass storage drive, but the classic ESP32s and the C6s don't have uh, mass storage. They don't have native USB. So how would you connect? Well, historically, um, you would only be able to do Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, but then you have to set it up, and it's like kind of like you have to get in to set it up. Now you have... Um, like raw serial port access. So not only do you have a REPL, but you can upload files and it will do transparently the file uploading process, yep. no like hex type, you know, it like you, you encodes it, uploads it, uh, and then puts it on the file system for you. So it, it, yep. it's, it's, you know, Thonny is excellent. Definitely use Thonny or Moo, but if you want to use a browser-based um, only editor, check it out. Um, it's in beta, but it should be functional. Uh, we, I think we, Melissa, Took care of a bunch of bugs, then went on vacation. Yeah. Um, now's a great time to test it. You can check out the blog post with um, an extended version of all of this. And there is a GitHub repo, which has all of this. It's yeah. Open source. It's open source. So do you check it out. Um, other things in the newsletter. Uh, I mentioned this last week. I thought this was a neat um, article. It's in the newsletter this week. How Raspberry Pi built a silicon design team. You can figure out and find out how they were able to do their microcontroller. Um, there's a really neat fortune teller robot with Raspberry Pi and Python. Differences between the Arduino Nano or Raspberry Pi Pico. Um, the Python Software Foundation news. You want to check that out. They have their language summit coming up soon. And then um, all the things that are going on, going on in the community, including a lot of uh, projects. So from cat finders to um, sorting candy colors to pretty much anything you can imagine with Python and hardware, it's all in there. You can get this newsletter delivered every single week to your inbox from adafruitdaily.com. You can read it online, you can get it on GitHub, you can get it on RSS feed, you can get it in an email.